Mark Roosevelt is the president of St. John's College in Santa Fe. St. John's is one of the only colleges in America that is still trying to provide a traditional liberal arts education centered on the study of great books. Mark Roosevelt joins us today. President Roosevelt, thanks for coming on. Appreciate it. So, thanks for having me. Um, I, I want to talk to you specifically because I think this is not to promote your school, but I do think St. John's is, is different from most universities. To so me, you've got a different vantage on this. Looking at the country, how has it happened that when more people are going to college than ever before, there is a consistent decline in adult literacy? How did that happen? Well, um, first of all, thank you for allowing St. John's to join this conversation. We believe in conversation and civil discourse, which is another thing that, as you've pointed out, is unfortunately absent from many places. Yes, I agree. But, wow. We are, you, you noted that we were different, Mr. Carlson. We are so different. Uh, we may be the most rigorous college in America. Our freshmen must learn ancient Greek. Our seniors struggle with quantum physics. Along the way, they have to take calculus. They have to learn how to do differential equations, and they have to study Hegel and Kierkegaard and Karl Marx and Adam Smith. So we are sailing against almost every prevailing wind in American higher education. I do agree with a lot of what you said at the beginning, that there has been slippage, slippage in rigor, um, slippage in the demands academically made of students. And we think that is a mistake. And we have no intention of joining that particular parade in higher education. Well, good for you. I wonder, though, what you make of this phenomenon, or maybe I'm misreading it, but as the outcomes decline, become less impressive, kids know less when they graduate, rigor declines. You would think colleges would say, we're turning out people who don't know very much. Only 30% can read a complex book. Maybe we ought to teach them more. But the opposite seems to be happening. Why? Well, I'm not sure that I know the answer to why. Um, the um, movement towards allowing students to shape their own curriculum and to be able to determine their own education is, is part of it. A lack of expectations is, is another part of it. Again, not to return to St. John's, but that's what I know best, our students read 200 books, and I mean 200 serious books over the course of their education. But Mr. Carlson, in all honesty, we are for very few folks. I mean, we have about 800 students between right. our two campuses. And our students are very self-selecting. They know what they're getting into. They know how hard it's going to be. And you know that is a very serious challenge for a lot of students. And so most maybe colleges that's it. are not like that. Well, so maybe you put your finger on it. What you're offering is a traditional liberal arts education that would have been familiar to a lot of well-educated Americans 100 years ago. Now you've got 800 students. So I guess the question is, what percentage of the American population is really suited for, interested in, should participate in a liberal arts education? Well, you know, I honestly believe that there ought to be a lot of diversity in our educational offerings. You've talked in the yeah, previous I shows agree. about career preparation, and there is a place for that. There's a place for people who want to get trained to do a job, even though we also know from colleges that only about 20% of students will actually work in something that they majored in. Um, as you may know, Mr. Carlson, we don't have majors at St. John's. We don't think that life breaks down into majors. So again, we're just very different. Um, so, you know, the liberal arts education um, can be described in very, at very different things in very different places. At St. John's, it's an all-required curriculum. Everybody's taking all of the same courses, and they're all of equal rigor and equal demands. They're in very small classes. You know, an average of about 15 students in a class, yeah. so there's no place for them to hide. Right. So the rigor <laughs> is, is, is very real. And, and I hope it stays that way. Mark Roosevelt, thanks a lot Me for too. joining us. I appreciate it. You're most welcome. New audio tape exposes how the NFL, the owners, and some key players tried to handle the national anthem protests.